brother got kidnapped. He died in captivity. After we had paid every ransom in millions, he collected the money. But they now called us that we should come and take the cops. I hope you know that's a nothing hot like that. And then you see your own brother's body dead in the forest. Ask my wife, I never shed a tear. Not because I am not, I wasn't emotionally attached to him. Because I know the scriptures. If you know the scriptures, you will never allow yourself to slip into a situation of excessive grief or excessive excitement. Are you there? You will stay in between. So if I have an alert of one billion, you will not know. Because I will not be excited. Do you understand? If that comes into my life, it means God is accelerating our mission. And you will see the effect of one billion naira on the field of mission. You will see the effect. Hallelujah. Are you, are you there? So yes, it was a situation of grief. But I didn't share the tear. Because I didn't want to give Satan an opportunity. You see how it takes time to bring money into it. One billion naira is just asking you to raise that to by style. <laughs> and we are still here. We have not broken down. I will never afford Satan that luxury of sitting down for him to be my preacher. To bend my mind and to plant in me philosophy that will injure my purpose, injure my destiny. Your life flows in the direction of your most Predominant. Welcome to the moment of truth. If you've been following me for the past two years now, because I'm going to be two years, for the past of one and a half years anyway, going to two years, you will know my stand on all these preachers. As a Osai, my stand on, on Osai. Ah. What I don't like about him is like is that he brags a lot. This is the man that told us that he's powerful. He prays for seven hours every day. If you look at all the videos I've done about him. Okay, if you pray seven hours a day to, to the Almighty Father, Almighty God, why did he not know that his brother will be kidnapped? That's number one, no? Again, why did he not know that uh, his brother will be killed in, in captivity? And why did he not know that even if they paid, the brother will still be dead? These are the powerful people, and the enemy is killing them, oh. Enemy is killing them all. He's killing their people. When I told you that what they are going through, hey, you yourself, you won't believe it. This is recent. This video is less than a week ago. And he's laughing. He said he doesn't want Satan to preach to him. Is that what we are talking about? This is someone that said he, 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 he can kill. If he, if he speak a word, that person will go. I've done a video. Go and watch it. When he say he can kill Oropo, you just have to speak a word. Speak a word. And, he, and if someone dies and he speak a word, the person will jack back to life. I've done a video about it. My people, what I'm saying here is to know God for yourself. These people have nothing to offer if they cannot help their own blood. This is the same Osai that told us that his mom took him to a brother that was sick and told a brother that, you do know my son, pray for people, and they got healed. This is the same Osai now. Because when they test all these lies, they do not know there are some of us that see right up there and that will use their words. Against them. And this is Osai that deliver two mommy water girls. I've done I've also done a video about it. He said two water, two mommy water ladies free. 
This is the same also you, my people. What I'm saying to you, no God for yourself. Anything that entails money is business. Because this is what he does for a living. They will ask him to go and preach and they will pay him. And that is what puts food on his table. That is what sustains him and his family. That is what makes him a man. They don't want to work. They cannot work. But they are so confident, comfortable in collecting people's money. Because that, that, that makes them rich quicker. When hundreds of people, thousands of people is giving to one person. Ah, it's a lot of money. Oh. If, if you donated 10,000 $10, naira, talkless, people pay more than that. And they are collecting it on a daily basis. And as they collect, they are so they 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 they, they are tying it down down on lands on property. They are all property agents, so they are just using you to raise money. And what is paining me is that you are not getting anything in return. And that's why I'm exposing them. I was in your shoes, oh my people, running after all these men, running after them here and there for years. He heard me nothing. He saw lies and deception, my people. No God for yourself. All the time you'll be spending running after them. If you sit down to study your Bible, to pray to God yourself, go back to your foundation. Go back to the root of any problem that is troubling you and take it to the Lord in prayer. You will achieve a lot. Achieve a lot. You have direct connection to the Almighty Father. Actually, we are insulting God by looking onto all these men. They put themselves in the, in the place of God. We see them and we forgot God. But because people expect so much from them. And there's nothing coming forth. Because God is not happy. God is not happy with what we are doing. I saw this. I said, let me bring it to my people as an example that these men... Their businessmen know they have nothing to offer you. I see you on my next video. Bye for now. Next one.